and welcome back to Dark Souls. Now, in the last episode, we... I... Failed a lot. Uh, we won't talk about that. <laughs> we did, however, manage to defeat Quelag and ring the second bell of awakening. And we went on to the Demon Ruins, where we fought... Not exactly fairly, but we fought the Ceaseless Discharge. And now, we're going to Sen's Fortress, which is the little, well I say little, the fortress that opened up when we rung the second bell of awakening. So to get there we need to revisit the Undead Parish. We'll just fly past these guys. wonderful sounds of Andre. We'll light the parish bonfire which we haven't done yet. We will reverse hollowing and kindle the bonfire. We might not need it but it's nice to have that as a backup should we happen to die. And it's not like there's any difference between having 15 humanities and 13 humanities really. Come to think of it, we should probably, from Andre, well, uh, obtain the weapon smith box. I won't get myself killed, Andre. Well, I might. But it won't be intentional. And all going well, it won't be as often as the last episode. We will avoid the difficult to spot trap there. And we'll see our first enemies of Sen's Fortress. Two lizard men. And we'll almost die to them. Okay. So my poise isn't what it used to be because I'm wearing the gold hand set. Yeah, maybe we should be in different armor for this. That's one down, though. Oh, thank you for coming back up. Oh, we'll go with the gargoyle helm. Why not? Too heavy? No. Don't we look sexy? Obtain soul of a brave warrior. That's good for 5,000 souls. Definitely not to be sniffed at. Now. You will see a large demon down there. We'd like to avoid him if possible, but we would like to go down there. Yeah, we barely stirred him. All's well. Although that is him shooting lightning at us. He can't hit us from here, just as well. Another soul of a uh, prey knight this time. And we will randomly hit a wall and suddenly find another ladder. You know, the game's really not fair to first time players. Now 
Now, you may recognize this guy from the previous episode in the cutscene. He is, of course, the one who pulled this chain, opening up Sen's fortress for us. But apparently that doesn't mean he likes us. And he's teared himself out, so we will, of course, run in and try and kill him. And we have. So he'll drop 3,000 souls and hopefully a Titanite chunk. Yes, indeed he has. So we're free to just drop back down here. And we're back here. Now going to need a bow for this part and I may as well put on my catalyst as well she doesn't seem to be allowing us to hit her there we go no. A couple more hits. And she should fall off, yep. And we'll attract this guy. Oh. Easier said than done. This should do it. There we go. That'll do. The enemies are not the brightest. Incense Fortress. There's an item down there that we probably won't be getting. Um, it's nothing we'll need. The serpent, the serpent man we just uh, knocked off, he won't actually be dead, but he probably won't make it past the spike traps again, so we should be okay. Another little trap here. Managed to avoid that one. We obtained two more large titanite shards, which means we can upgrade our weapon to plus ten. Now... We should probably take this guy out before we continue onwards. If we keep him busy here... He'll get hit by more boulders. And we can just finish him off with... A few well-placed soul arrows. That should do it. Now... Another serpent man sleeping against a wall. We should waken him up. And then back ourselves up against the wall. And hopefully he'll charge us and knock the wall in. This should get rid of him. Yep, knocked him off. He didn't die. Yes, he did. <laughs> Hello there. Hmm. This is quite honestly. A rare thing in these times. I am Logan. I'm a bit cooped up, as you can see. I have a bright idea. Suppose you set me free. I'm old. This place is not in my mind. The inactivity of your 
Logan being my favourite character in the game, I think we'll free him. There's a key you can get in here later on, but we have the master key, so... Well, that would be tremendous. Thank you. While we're here, we'll obtain the soul of a hero. And we'll be on our way. Thanks again, Logan. We'll be seeing a lot more of him later in the game. But for now, we will just continue onwards through Sands. Oh no. Oh no. Well. I thought that was going to be an Estus flask. <laughs> that was a little bit silly. Picking up this episode as we left the last one, I'm afraid. Uh, two humanity. I'd... No, we have twin humanities. Okay, I'll use one. I'd like to be human for as much of this run as possible. There's no real benefit. But it means we can um, summon any NPCs that we see. It means we can be invaded as well. And I'd quite like to show that off in this playthrough, but I don't know how feasible that really is. So if we're going for the speedrun method of Sense Fortress, we avoid the trap. We hopefully shoot straight past these guys. Uh, we mess up rather impressively and we die again. Wow. <coughs> so there go 13 humanities. Oh well. They could have been useful. We also lost about 10,000 souls. I don't feel great about myself right now. That really was a silly mistake. I thought I could make it past the axe before it swung down. Thanks. I'm, I'll be sure to take my no souls and no humanity. If I'd had a uh, fast roll, I would have made past that act before it fell. Not to worry. Spike trap should kill her. Okay, so we've not lost much, really. I would, of course, like to go down here still. There's no reason to, other than to meet our friend. These guys are dead. Why is that? Well, introducing Sigmire. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, forgive me. I was absorbed in thought. I am Sigmire of Katarina. Quite honestly, I've run flat up against a wall. Or a ball, to be precise. I'm afraid I'm a bit too tough to be up running those things. So here I sit in quite a pickle, weighing my options, so to speak. <laughs> okay. 
perhaps I could try some rolling. Bah, no chance. My head would spin. Hmm. Well, the ball, of course, he's referring to are these rolling balls coming down the hill. Uh, I guess we could do him a favour and stop them. I'll take a little hide in here first. I thought I could make it past that. Again, the difference between having fast roll and mid roll. We'll take the wolf ring. Oh, ring of steel protection. No, I'm sorry, of course. We'll wait for this ball to fall. Ah, now I had a little bet on with myself. I bought this at the end of the last episode and I kind of thought to myself, I bet I don't put this on. What that will do is just boost our uh, sorcery damage levels slightly. I was blocking there. It was dead angled me. Another ball trap. I'd like to chase this one down though. Almost went too early. Now, there's a little hole there. The balls appear to be going into that. We'll just... We'll keep an eye on that situation, shall we say. It's a treasure chest in the middle of nowhere. Hmm. It's a mimic, and they're very powerful. And I was rather hoping I could kill it before it stood up. But we got there. And it will drop the lightning spear for us. Which is just a regular spear imbued with lightning. Nothing particularly special. Oh! Wasn't there a wall here before? We obtained the covetous gold serpent ring. And we hide behind a wall because there's another ball coming. Wait for the elevator. I've fallen down there before. And we'll get off here. Because we don't want to keep going up, it will be squashed. <laughs> Never a good end. And here we have the ball trap. So we'll just move that so Siegmeier can make a little bit of progress. That is... Of course, as well, the other way to open that wall where um, Logan is situated. Another trap which we will activate and avoid. And another set of pendulum axes. Which hopefully, yes, we can just go straight past. I really don't like these guys. The, just these 
there's one here and there's one on the other side. The two of them in particular are two of the toughest enemies in the game. Purely for the fact they're in tight corridors. Oh no. That was <laughs> clutch dodging there. We can, of course, kill her in one stamina bar, so that's fine. We'll take another two large Titanite shards. And we'll head up the stairs. The, ser the female serpent man, serpent woman, woman serpent, whatever you'd like to call her, who was attacking me there, uh, was situated here and I didn't think she'd seen me, but apparently she had. So, yeah. Now, we'd like to take this one out. We'll stun her if we keep headshotting her. Uh, she's going behind a wall, though. Okay. She can make things a little tricky here, <laughs> which is why I don't want to just go ahead. This is sadly going to be a bear with me moment. Oh. That was an extreme dodge. Oh, it's quite infuriating. I genuinely don't think I can hit her from here. Well, that was rather annoying. It does not leave as many Estus flasks either. So, that in mind, I think I will take up the hidden bonfire in this area. You may wonder what the black markings are on the floor. They're that. That large giant on top of there. He's about to throw a bomb at me. So I'll avoid that. <laughs> we'll use our twin humanities. And 
we'll reverse hollowing and we'll kindle. I have no idea what died there. So we'll kindle back up to 10 Estus flasks again. And while we're at a bonfire, we can reinforce our axe up to plus 10, which is for now the as far as we can take it. It wouldn't be unheard of to go and get the very large ember, but it would be very difficult to do. And the way I'm playing, I don't really fancy my chances. So, that in mind, I'm going to continue on. We get a soul item and another couple of large Titanite shards. And we'll take on the second Veronique Knight. Who seems quite intent on messing us up. Dodge. You are not Estesing on my watch. We'll head down here. We'll get our sorcery out. Or we're about to take on Ricard. He uses a combination of bow and rapier to ruin our day. <laughs> or should I say bow, rapier and rolling. Ah, he's missing us. That's fortunate. I'll try and remember that in future. Stand halfway up the stairs. Apparently, you'll reach a Ricard blind spot. So he'll drop Ricard's rapier. Continue up these stairs for a divine blessing and a rare ring of sacrifice. Yes. The rare ring of sacrifice, uh, where if you equip that, when you die, you won't lose anything. And should you happen to be cursed when you die, then it breaks the curse for you. And Divine Blessing is just a full heal item. Heals full hit points and any status ailments you have on you. Which I think excludes curse. Yeah, I'm fairly sure it does. The only way to cure curse is the Purging Stone or the Healer in New Londo. So we'll proceed this way. We will be attempting to jump over that bridge area soon, but for now we have a Balder Knight to fight. Nope, didn't drop anything. Thank you for the souls, though. Okay, yeah. Before we go this way, we should have the leap of faith. Well, that didn't go well. We will take the sniper crossbow, though. And we'll... Find another Balder Knight. Thank you for allowing me to backstab you. Thank you for allowing me to kill you. And round here is one more. We'll just take his back. And 
and we will take the Ring of Fire Protection. Flamestone Pro Flamestone Plate Ring, yeah. Ring of Fire Protection. What that does is just uh, reduces fire damage on us. It will probably go through the game without ever being warm. Right. I'd like to stand in a place where I'm not likely to die. While I take off my equipment. Oh, don't I look nice naked? We made it this time. And we see another merchant. What has it to you? Ah, Madame Derrick. I took my son's fortress alive. But I am not so different from those vile creatures. I was driven by conceit. Ah, you see how different. But you can handle it. Yes, I remember that feeling. For I was the same. So, let me help you out. With your soul deserves it. He sells black fire bombs, green blossoms, he sells large titanite shards as well as normal ones, and green ones actually, but we have enough of those. And he sells um, Katarina armor and Balder armor, if I remember correctly. As well as the steel set, yeah, of course. Great swords and great axes, mm, we don't have much love for them. And we have the Thunder Stone Plate Ring and the Spell Stone Plate Ring, neither of which we'll be going for today, thank you. Nothing at all? No. I mean, I've seen like a naked baby be skinned alive. I am naked, how did you know? <laughs> Wait, you have eyes. We'll quickly put our armour back on. And we'll descend a big spiral spear. Spiral spear case? Yes, spiral spear case. New from Mattel. Spiral staircase. Wow, that was a big lag. I genuinely thought we'd crash there. No thanks. And we'll take the cage key. That's the key that frees uh, Logan from his cell. And it's also the key to activate the shortcut for Sen's Fortress. Which we may or may not need at some point. But it's nice to have it anyway. It's especially use useful if we happen to need to go back for some purpose or other. Can we make it? We can make it. So this is the cage that, that opens. That was a failed attempt at getting in and out. Goodbye. I want none of that. Continue to proceed upwards, as is the fashion incense fortress. forget he only takes one hit. And we'll 
try and stop the giant from bombing us. Hi there, big guy. Oh, he's going on a rampage already. That's good. I'm going to back off a little. It's not worth taking him on when he can do a lot of damage. On rampage, please, or just huge swings. We should be able to take you out here. That's fine. Drop another Titanite chunk for us. Titanite chunks are what we need to upgrade beyond plus ten once we obtain the very large ember. That would indeed be the boss of Sense Fortress, but for now, we'd like to get Tarkus. Tarkus is a beast. Tarkus can probably take this boss out on his own. In fact, I've seen it happen. So why don't we have a little here and we'll just let Tarkus fight the boss the boss being the iron golem we need to dodge his we won't dodge his shockwave we need to get uh, Tarkus interested unfortunately that should do it Tarkus is interested Tarkus is taking damage. Tarkus is also very close to the edge. Which could result in his death. Oh, he staggered him. This will be interesting. <laughs> Tarkus is going to knock him off. No, he's just going to knock him down. That's so unfortunate. Still doing damage though. Boss is about 75% dead. Just getting back to his feet. Tarkus is like, yeah, whatever. Oh, nice block, Tarkus. Tarkus is beast mode. Oh, Tarkus is grabbed. He won't die here though. This feels more like Pokemon than Dark Souls at this point. One more hit, Tarkus. Go on, you got this. Thank you. <laughs> I feel like the core of the Iron, Iron Golem should be yours, Tarkus, but we'll take it. And we'll take 40,000 souls, and we'll examine the Ring of Light. Now I'm going to be ending this episode after this cutscene, so thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next episode of Dark Souls.